Hey y'all, it's your buddy Chuck again, and we're back at it on Thursday, July 18th. Looks like we're gonna start our day off with a little 10 item shopping order at Walmart. $18 and change, going seven miles. Got a late start this morning, about an hour later than normal. Anyway, let's see if we can knock this out pretty quick. Maybe get a real order. Let's go shopping, y'all. Okay. Yep. Come on, man. Modular seven. Cookies and cream. Come on, baby. Modular three, frosted strawberry. Yep. <laughs> Modular five, frosted brown sugar. All right. Sorry about that. No problem. Oh, this is Dr. Thunder, not <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Sorry. Diet Dr. Thunder. What is this? Come on, man. Looks right. Yeah. Hawaiian Aloha. Modular seven, yep, that's it. Come on, man, where's your barcode? Modular 42. That's supposed to be it. Come on, man. All right. All right, this should be it, and we're out of here. Yay. Good to go, good to go. Yay. All right, y'all, we got that little 10 item shopping order done in no time flat. It was quick and easy. It would have been perfect if I didn't have to go all the way to the pharmacy section to get that toothbrush. But it was easy. The drive, man, we're going all the way to the Meadow subdivision west of town. When I was pulling out of the Walmart parking lot, it said 5.3 miles. why the offer screen said seven point something but anyway we're almost there 1.7 miles we'll be there then we can scurry back to walmart try to get another order
All right, y'all. Thank you for your business. Hope you have a wonderful day. We just got a $32 order. y'all so we just got a $32 curbside pickup three kind of medium-sized drops there's some water involved no 40 packs uh, but anyway 32 bucks 11 miles three drops don't back up This uh, one order in the back seat is very irritating. It's got about six one-gallon bottles of water, and they have no handles of any kind, and they're not in bags. So, you know, I'm probably, I don't know, gonna put, I've got a bunch of Walmart bags. You know, I've got no way to carry those gallons of water except in my arms like a baby or something. Very irritating. I hate it when the pickers don't put things in bags. It just... Very irritating. <laughs> my theory is any item that will fit in a bag, put it in a bag. I don't care if it's got a handle. If it'll fit in a bag, put it in a bag. Because the bags are a lot easier to carry than any other kind of handle. Hey, how are you? Let me snap a quick picture. All right. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks. Y'all have a great day. All right. All right, y'all, that first one that went to the apartment, that was the smallest drop off. Got it done easily. And now, just about at the second drop, is it right here? This doesn't seem right. No, it's right there. I've delivered here before. I'm almost positive. Yeah, here it is. All right, here we are at the second drop off. And uh, it's in the back seat. Man, these guys have barbed wire fence around their house. That's weird.
All right, y'all, I appreciate your business. Hope you have a terrific day. All right, the second drop was fine, thanks to the trusty folding wagon. It was just fine. Man, it's hot out there. Holy cow. Um, anyway, so I've got a decision to make here. This third drop is in the Meadows subdivision, which is seven miles west of Walmart. Do I just go home with my $50 after a couple hours? Do I turn around and drive seven or eight miles back to Walmart and try to get another order? I, I gotta tell you, I'm leaning toward just going home. It's hot and miserable out there. I don't know. don't know. I might just go on home, y'all. I know these videos are mighty short lately. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, some of you might like the shorter videos. I don't know. Alright, here we go, y'all. We're a half a mile from drop number three. It's the one back in the hatchback. Might have to break out the wagon again. I know there's a case of water in there. Hey, oh, thank you for your business. Hope you have a terrific day. All right, y'all, that does it for Thursday, July 18th. Hey, it was nice to see the return of the 30 something dollar curbside pickup. It's been a few days since we've seen one that nice. Now, it was a bit of work. All three orders were kind of medium sized. And had some heavy stuff in them, but that's that's what a spark order is supposed to look like. Except maybe not quite that much drive in 11 miles, but that's kind of a normal spark order. 32 bucks, three medium-sized drop-offs. You know, usually going six, seven, eight miles, something like that. This one was 11 miles, but still, it was good to see it. I guess Spark isn't mad at me or anything. And y'all, that first order I did, that shopping order, delivered to that subdivision called the Meadows, which is two or three miles west of Kingsland. And then the third drop of that curbside pickup delivered to the Meadows. And it was just, it was just too tempting. <laughs> I could drive seven miles the opposite direction of my house to go back to Walmart who knows what kind of order I would get or how long it would take to get an order. Or I could get a seven mile head start on going home. I decided just to head on home with my 50 bucks. And then the heat, y'all, it makes it hard to sit out there. Ooh, it's hot. It says 93, the humidity. I'm sure it makes it feel like, oh, I forgot I still have spark turned on. So they just sent me a $9 offer. I need to turn them off. 
Anyway, y'all, it, it was cool. You, we just worked a couple of hours and made 50 bucks. You know, I probably should have worked another hour. I should have gotten there earlier. But I probably should have worked another hour or two and tried to make more money, but I don't know, man. It's just so hot outside. But anyway, y'all, that's it. Thanks for riding along with me. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I appreciate it. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow. Bearing down on the outskirts of town with